Hi, my name is Melissa Karanka, and I'm a science teacher at Accelerated Learning Academy in Flint, Michigan. In my experience of teaching for over 28 years, I've seen firsthand that the quality of the air and water in school buildings has an enormous impact on our students' health and educational outcomes. The res resilience and futures of our communities are contingent on access to education and buildings that are free from environmental toxins. We believe that giving youth the tools and knowledge to inspire community trust in environmental solutions is critical for sustaining solutions to these challenges. The vision for Community Kids is to set a stage for the interplay of science and engineering with culturally relevant place-based education to combat lead toxicity in school drinking water. In the short term, community members will gain understanding, then vocabulary, then creativity, and then agency to mobilize high quality, cost-effective environmental solutions for school buildings. Solutions that are inspired by members of the school community. Activated carbon-based lead filters and hydration stations are highly reliable at removing lead under a range of water quality conditions. However, the community has little trust in these hydration station units are keeping their water safe. In part, this is because the measures of success that most of these hydration stations use, such as the number of plastic bottles saved, are based on the amount of water processed and not its quality. Our team is developing models that predict when the filters are reaching a point when LEDs may start breaking through. To co-develop the ways that this technology is owned and applied, we value sustained partnerships with com education communities. We began our partnership with Flint students by introducing the topic of uh, filtration. The students built Corsi Rosenthal boxes for air filtration and then installed those devices in the classrooms of teachers they knew and trusted. With the students, we co-developed a hands-on curriculum and nurtured their curiosity in identifying ways to monitor these air filters. For phase two of this project, we're aiming to strengthen trust by involving students further in the implementation of solutions. The first step is deploying the predictive technology for lead in water on existing and new hydration stations across Michigan. We will host interdisciplinary de design workshops with teachers and education experts to develop curriculum covering essential topics in STEM, social sciences, and more. As a recently passed Filter First legislation prompts the installation of filters in schools and daycares across Michigan, these teacher-developed resources will be beacons of community knowledge shared across established resource networks. We are dedicated to community-led design of data communication, ensuring information is transparent, community-owned, and accessible. We will hold focus groups to shape how the data is presented, who owns it, and what benchmarks are relevant, and which platforms are most accessible. To evaluate this co-production framework in a water quality context, we will use interview-based qualitative methods with students, families, and school personnel. Leadership at the Center for Social Solutions are well equipped to use their experience in engaged research and implementing reparative solutions to create an inclusive and accessible environment where community members can freely participate. Our commitment to community agency extends into the next generation of the water workforce. We will identify opportunities for skills-based training and education in, for underrepresented workers in the process of governing their environments. One existing opportunity is a community college certification partnership between Flint Schools and Delta College that offers a water lab specialist certificate. We will scale and expand this partnership to continue the, and to close the loop of community agency over the knowledge and decisions affecting their health and well-being. <music>